When you first open your Mytel One client, you will be prompted to log in. Press the login button and enter your credentials. For my voice office 400 users, this will be your cloud link, username and password. For my Cloud Connect users, this will be your My Cloud Connect username and password. When you have successfully logged in for the first time, you will see the mobile verification screen. The Mitel One mobile client is designed to send and receive calls using either voice over IP communications or the carrier's voice network. By default, only voice over IP calling is enabled. On this screen, you are presented with three options. Press the Verify Now button to start the process of verifying your mobile telephone number for use as an alternative method of sending and receiving calls. Press the Skip button to skip the mobile verification process and proceed directly to the home screen. Or press the Next button to skip the mobile verification process and add initial configuration content to your profile. If you skip the number verification, you can validate your number at a later date in the Mitel One mobile app's phone settings. Let's walk through the process of verifying the phone number. Press the Verify Now button, and the Verify Number screen appears. In the Mobile Number field, enter the telephone number associated with your SIM card. Note that you can tap on the country code to change it for other regions. When entered, the Request Code button activates. Press the Request Code button. This will generate a security code that will be delivered via SMS to the mobile number that you have entered. Note that you have a Resend Code button that can be used if you have an issue with your security code. Enter the code and press Confirm. And the Verification Success page appears. Press the Continue button. This displays the screen that allows you to configure information related to your profile. On the screen, you can add an avatar photo change your name in the directory, or add a persistent status message. Press the Done button when you are finished making any edits. On Android devices, the permissions page will appear. Here you should allow the Mitel One mobile app to use your microphone. Manage your calls and call history and allow the application to run in the background. This option only appears on Android devices. You must allow this feature to be enabled because the Mitel One mobile app requires it to receive calls and messages when the app is in the background. The confirmation page appears once you have finished granting permissions. Press the OK button to proceed to the home screen. Now you are ready to use your Mitel One mobile client. The process is generally the same for iOS devices.